Hi, this is an example walkthrough for using an Excel file as middleware in a DDP. To begin, you must first navigate to the DDPs tab. Once you're in the DDPs tab, select a DDP. As a requirement, your Excel file must be the first file in the middle grid and your output file must be the second. Your output file could be Word, PDF, Excel, or PowerPoint. In this example, we're going to import a Salesforce report of all our opportunities into a sheet within the Excel file. We drag the report to the far right side of the Select Files grid and assign it a sheet. Then we save, and now we're going to run so we can get both of the original documents but with the report and create some formulas. At this point, I like to say that this is just an example you can do whatever you'd like within your Excel document, but we're going to show you two ways to use Excel as middleware. One to dump a range inside of a table, and one is to use a cell to dump a range as a field. So we're going to download both Excel and Word documents, and then open them up in our desktop. As you can see, the Word file is pretty much blank. We'll get back to that later. Now I'm going to create some formulas for my table range that's going to sum up opportunities by stage. So this is the report that was pulled in from Salesforce of all the opportunities in my system. And I'm simply going to sum up the B column for values of closed within the D column. So you can see that all opportunities with the stage of close one equals a value of 2,500,000. Now I'm going to use that same formula, but instead of summing up the close stage, I'm going to sum up the prospecting stage. I'm going to do the same thing for the needs analysis stage. And finally, the same thing for the perceptions analysis stage. Now our goal is to take this range from cell A2 to B6 and insert it into a table within Word. The table in with Word must have the same number of columns as the range in Excel. So our Word document must have two columns and at least two rows, one row for the headers and one row for the values. Next, I'm going to create a new range that totals up all the values in my first range. And here I'm just clearing up my last formula because it doesn't appear to work. And then I'm going to assign my values ranges. So I'm going to give my first range a value of table range, and this will go into our Word document within the table, and then the total a range of total, and this will become a field in my Word document. So now I'm going to take my table range and copy it so I can include it in my table within Word. And I'm going to clear out the report data in the report sheet save my file and then begin tagging my Word document. And again, our output file does not have to be Word. It could have been PDF, PowerPoint, or Excel. Now for the table range, I have to put the range underscore start within angle brackets. This will just dump that first range into the table. And then for the second range, I'm going to put total within angle brackets and then save the Word file to my desktop. Next, I'm going to replace the existing documents in Salesforce with the documents from my desktop. You can access your documents from the DDP by double-clicking them in the Select File section, then choosing the Replace button and choosing the documents from your desktop to replace. Now once this done, we, we have to make some additional changes to our DDP. 
first change I'm going to make is putting the print range as 00 in my Excel document so it becomes hidden from the output file. Then I'm going to reselect my Excel file and import it to my Word file similar to the way we import the Salesforce report to the Excel file. Dragging it to the far right grid and putting in the range that's being used into the middle column. Now I'm going to change my delivery option to PDF so I get a PDF return as opposed to my original documents. Then I'm going to choose a record from my main object and rerun the DDP. If we set it up correctly, we should get a PDF file with the first range from our Excel file inside of a table and our second range as a field that totals up everything in the table. So here's our file. We're going to download it, open it up, and as you can see, the first range was successfully dumped into our table and the second range was inserted into the field. And that is how you use an Excel file as middleware in a DDP. Thank you.